Coming up, spinning balloons that'll turn you dizzy with success. A spoon that tolls like a bell. A trick that'll keep your friends stuck on a chair. And an applause machine that'll have them begging for more. Can't wait to learn the secret of Giovanni's applause machine. All in good time, Taryn. And speaking of time, Kimberly's about to come up with the most amazing clock you've ever seen. What a huge area to sweep! Nicole, Marcus and I have been doing this forever. But Mum says we can take a rest break only once every ten minutes. Hmm, one more minute then we can put down our brooms. Oh no! It's stopped working! We'll have to use Nicole's to time our breaks. Trouble is, she has to go home soon. What are we going to do? I know. Why don't we make our own clock? Come on, guys. <laughs> Grace's birthday party guests will be here any minute now. But we keep playing with the balloons. Flying all over the place. Whoa! They're out of control! Hey! What if we can control the way they move? We can use our party drinking straws. We just need to make them shorter. So we'll snip a little bit off the long end. Now we take a balloon and stick the straw in. Now a rubber band and we'll stretch it around the neck of the balloon until it's really tight. There. Fraser's turn. Perfect. No air can escape. Now, let's get these balloons blown up. The bigger we get them, the better. Done. Now let's give them a spin. Let it go, and... Wow! Now phrases. Oh, they've run out of puff. Hey, let's make them spin in opposite directions. Turn the bendy bit to the other side. That should make it spin in the opposite direction. Brilliant! As air leaves the balloon's nozzle at high speed, it pushes against the outside air. That moves the balloon forwards. The angle of the bendy bit controls the direction in which the balloon spins. Aeroplanes also steer by controlling air movement. But they move flaps in their wings and tail, pushing the air in different directions. That's how aeroplanes steer. These balloons are going to be a super cool party trick. But we better stop this soon. Old Fraser's guests will be here before we're ready. Yep, you better hurry, guys. The party girls will be there any tick of the clock. Oh, which reminds me, I wonder how Kimberly's clock ideas are ticking along. Nicole has to go home soon. But before she does, we're going to make a clock to tell us when to take a break. So let's put our heads together and think of a way to make a clock. Hmm, that dripping tap gives me an idea. We can make a water clock. Marcus, you find a long piece of cardboard. We'll need a water jug and a load of paper cups. We'll also need thumbtacks and a glass jar and scissors, tape and a ruler. This is how I think it will work. Our long piece of cardboard will support our clock. We'll line up our cups down the cardboard, just like this. We'll pour the water in at the top and it will drip down the cups and into the jar at the bottom. That's the plan. So first, we put thumbtack size holes in all of our cups. Now we stick them to the cardboard. Marcus, you stick in a thumbtack. And we'll space the cups evenly down the cardboard. Great. And there we are. Five cups in a row. And the water will drip down here and into the jar. 
Now to make a clock face for our water timer. I'll fold up another piece of paper, cut it to size, and tape it to the jar. There we are. Now we have to work out how long it will take for the water to drip down. We can use Nicole's stopwatch before she goes home. Pour in the water and go. Yay! It's dripping! Now we'll wait and see how much water drips into the jar in five minutes. Yum! I've got to have it. And I think I know how to trick Billy into parting with his mouth-watering moose. I'll just grab a spoon and a piece of string. All I have to do is promise him I can make this spoon sound like a huge clanging bell. In exchange for the moose, of course. Please. Good. The moose is all but in my mouth. All I have to do is loop the string around the spoon and show Billy how to dangle the string from his ears. Time for the bells to toll. Excellent. He's holding the string close to his ears and gently swinging the spoon against the table. Yep, in Billy's ears, that's going to sound like the chimes of Big Ben. When the spoon hits the table, molecules in the spoon vibrate, making a dinging sound. The spoon's vibrations in turn make the string vibrate. But because the string's molecules aren't as tightly packed as the metal spoons, the dinging sound is changed into a deeper donging sound that travels up the string and straight into Billy's ears. Hey! My bell trick must sound more impressive than I thought. I think I'll have a go. really does work. Wow! Sounds just like big bells. Hey, what the...? Only one miserable spoonful left. <laughs> My trick backfired on me. That's as clear as a bell. Poor Jade. I think she was just a little too tricky that time. Speaking of tricks, time to catch up with the master of trickery himself, Jordan. For the ultimate chair challenge, you need a chair and a volunteer. Meet Nicole. All she has to do is sit up nice and straight in the chair. Nicole's challenge is to stand up against the force of my tiny little finger on her forehead. The only no-nos are she can't move her hands and she can't bend her back. Let the challenge begin. See, no matter how hard she tries, Nicole is pinned to the chair by my little pointer. Nicole is trapped by her body's centre of gravity. She can only move if she's able to shift her centre of gravity forward. When her centre of gravity moves closer to her legs, she can lift herself up. But poor Nicole will stay stuck fast to that chair as long as Jordan's finger stops her moving forward. Cool challenge, eh? Now she can't get up because she's too exhausted. <laughs> Carrie-Anne wants to be a famous dancer. She craves the sound of everybody cheering for her. That's not a roar of applause. This crowd will never roar. How can I make her think a huge crowd of people is cheering and clapping? I know. I'll need an old jewellery box, a candle and a piece of thread. Good. The box has a nice thin lid. Now a small hole in the middle and poke the thread through the hole. I'll pull the thread over the candle. This will coat it in wax. Now pull the thread slowly through the hole and it sounds like a huge crowd of people clapping to make Carrie-Anne happy. Giovanni's clever applause machine works 
because the wax on the thread rubs against the thin sides of the box when the thread is pulled through the hole. This makes the box vibrate and it makes a sound just like an audience clapping. Oh no! Carrie Ann loves the applause. I'm gonna have to do this every time she performs. <laughs> so that's how Giovanni's applause machine works. Would you like a quick round of applause, Dana? Uh, I think it's Kimberly's water clock that deserves the applause. <laughs> Our new water clock is keeping perfect time. Water's dripping through the cups like clockwork. The collar's about to go home, but her stopwatch is nearly at five minutes. 57, 58, 59, five minutes. I'll mark how much water went into the jar in five minutes. Then I'll mark the same distance all the way up, and that means that each line means five minutes. Phew, just in time. The coal has to go. But now we've got a working water clock. So let's take it outside. And put it on the garden seat. Now Marcus will start our clock. And it's dripping nicely. Yep, just like a ticking clock. Because the water trips through the cups at a nearly constant rate, it's a reliable way to tell the time. But the more constant the water pressure, the more accurate a water clock will be. People have used water to tell the time for thousands of years. Water clocks like these were used by ancient Greek and Roman civilizations, long before electric clocks were invented. Boy, this sweeping is hard work. It makes you hot and thirsty. Thank goodness there's only a few more drops. Yay! Ten minutes are up. Time for a rest break. Don't touch that! Hey! Now how will we time our rest breaks? Time's up for that water clock, I think. Time's up for us too, Taryn, because we've come to the end of another show. See, See you next time. time. Thank you.